There are many saints from early Welsh history, some with a long rich history, and some are simple short stories. Christianity has been a part of Wales since at least 1314 AD, as we have records of British bishops attending a council in 1314, all from different parts of Roman Britain, from Londinium to Carmarthen. The most famous saint from Wales, and the patron saint of Wales, is Saint David, or Dowi Sant. Saint David existed during a time called the Age of Saints in Wales, which, as the title implies, is the age in which a great many saints appeared to spread the word of God from Brittany through Wales, Ireland and Cornwall. This age started from the 5th century into the 6th century, so again, solid sources are hard to come by. But with St. David, we do have a lot of information and stories. The main source of information we have on St. David is from the life of St. David by Rigavach. This source is written around the 1090s, 500 years after St. David's death, but it does give us a valuable insight into the 6th century. The Welsh-Irish connection is present for the story of St. David, as he is featured in two feast days in Irish martyrologies, which is a calendar for saints. The two scriptures are from Ungus the Coldy and Martyrology of Tala. But as for a biographical account, we rely back to the life of St. David. We don't know the date of St. David's birth, but we can estimate that he was born around 500 to 520 AD in the kingdom of Ceredigion to King Sant and his mother was called Non and came from the kingdom of David. Yet there was no love between the parents as David was conceived forcefully from Sant lusting after Non. At the time of St. David's birth, the life of St. David begins to parallel stories from the Bible. For example, the ruler of a local area threatened to kill the unborn David, feeling fear by his arrival. But come the eve of St. David's birth, a powerful storm whipped up. Lightning crashed with an onslaught of hail and rain. During this tumultuous storm, David's mother Non made her way to a ruined chapel with a healing well. Whilst the storm thundered on, Non was protected by a holy light while she delivered the baby David. The notion that St. David shared a few traits with Jesus Christ is due to the author trying to establish the independence of the Welsh Church as his father met King William the Conqueror in 1081. So by having an account of the man who founded the Welsh Church, it helps legitimise it, similar to Welsh kings using genealogy to connect them with Roman emperors and to remind ourselves that the source's goal is to promote St. David in a way that certain traits of his will be embellished, but it still tells us a fascinating story. The next chapter of St. David's life starts at the monastery at Henvenu near Aberystwyth. The description of this monastery is that it had an ancient well which stood at the northern part of the churchyard, and that the church was near the banks of the Aeron, with its clover-filled meadows and acorn-loaded trees. By 545 AD, St. David was now the leader of the movement in Albion to oppose the teachings of Pelagius, which taught the people that everyone could be received in heaven through their own efforts rather than relying on God's grace. This was seen as heresy by the Catholic Church, and to combat this, a synod was held, which is a meeting of Christian figures. And at one of these meetings, in a place where three Roman roads met, Near Carmarthen, a large gathering occurred, with many voices talking over each other. St. David, who is described as being six foot tall, struggled to speak to the masses. The life of St. David describes what happens next. Then, at the appointed place called Brevi, they endeavoured to preach. Then David made his way to the Synod. The assembly of bishops rejoiced, the people were glad, and the whole gathering exulted. The earth under him swelled, and was raised to a hill. A church is situated on top of that hill now. This is just one of the many miracles attributed to St. David. During the same address, a white dove is said to have landed on St. David's shoulder, and many of his depictions show him with the white dove on his shoulder. The dove represented holiness. Another miracle attributed to him is about a flock of bees, and the story goes that an Irish monk and follower of St. David, known as St. Modernoch, 
He cared for a flock of European honeybees at St. David's Monastery, tending to them with great care and delicacy whilst harvesting the honey and wax they produced. When it was time for Modernock to return to Ireland and preach, the bees were enamoured for him, and when Modernock boarded a ship bound for Ireland, the bees followed him. Modernock, not wanting to take the bees as they belonged to the monastery, returned them. But each time he got back to the ship, the bees would be right behind him. Three times he returned them, until St. David offered his blessings and stated that Modnock may take the bees to Ireland with him. This is one story of how the honeybees were introduced into Ireland. A short story about St. David is that when the Saxons invaded, St. David advised his fellow Britons to wear leeks on their helmets to recognise each other, as their armour was similar to the Saxons. A lifelong vegetarian, St. David also only drank water, as he followed a typical monastic life, praying daily, keeping few or no possessions. St. David made a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, where he was made a bishop and given several gifts, a bal, a golden tunic, a staff, and finally, a portable high altar, the eye altar. St. David would found many monasteries in Albion, including his own in Pembrokeshire, where he and his disciples would practice what was referred to as in imitation of the monks of Egypt. With his community established, the monks would plough the field without oxen and then followed the typical monk life of praying daily as well as reading and writing. St. David's death is recorded on the 1st of March 589 AD, which became his saint day. His last words were reported being, Be joyful, keep the faith, do the little things you have seen me do.